video i bet you did don't forget to subscribe comment down below hit that like button and don't forget to share model maniacs how are we doing jay bookie back with a build this is going to be part one of a two video series where i build this tamiya m1a2 seth abrams tus 2 in 135th scale so without further ado let's open up the box and see what we got inside this is an absolute monster of a kit and it is loaded with things the first of which are these individually packaged sprues with excellent detail these give me a tingle in my pants look at the detail on these parts amazing got a set of beautifully molded soft rubber tracks with excellent detail got your figures here got a bag full of poly caps detail mesh and clear plastic which will be used for periscope glass lots of clear plastic parts nice water slide decals and an excellent set of instructions as is expected with the tamiya kit some of the best on the market in my opinion mm, glorious wouldn't you agree it wouldn't be a bookie video without something getting cut in this case we're going to cut these pieces off the sprue with my tamiya sharp side pointed cutters so nice gonna leave most of the glass on the sprue because when it comes time to paint it's gonna make it much easier to spray this stuff Although this kit is mostly void of imperfection and flash, you're still going to have to take off the pieces of sprue gate as part of the cleaning process. So use yourself a nice sharp hobby knife like this Excel, which I have cut myself with on numerous occasions. Just like this time. I quench my thirst for perfection with Tamiya Extra Thin Cement. No, don't actually drink the cement, please. Maniacs, do me a flavor and hit that subscribe button and the notification bell so you know exactly when I drop new content to include the second part of this video. Thanks a lot. While I love my extra thin, sometimes I just gotta spread it on thick. So we're gonna take our orange cap to Mia, put down a nice layer, and affix our chunky parts. And to be doubly sure that this big part isn't going anywhere, we're going to seal the deal with some Timmy Extra Thin in these cracks and crevices. One of the best things about Timmy Kits is the fact that they are engineered so well and the tolerances are so tight that they are almost like snap kits. You can really just push these things together. Oh my god, it's magic! Here's where things get interesting. You're going to drill a lot of holes, like really tiny holes with a pin voice, because this kit allows you to build three different versions. You're going to have to drill out certain places to affix certain pieces that come with their respective version that you're trying to build. And it does get pretty ridiculous at times. But certainly not as ridiculous as this. This kit actually forces you to cut out your own vision blocks from this plastic sheet. And I am not the most accurate or precise person in the world. So my vision blocks came out like absolute dog shit. And don't worry, this is only the beginning. You have to do this so many more times. And then there's a the matter of actually putting the glass into the place it's supposed to go. Fuck this. Oh, you want me to attach this drag bar to the rest of the kit with the tiniest pin that I've ever seen? Wow, what a great idea. Said no one ever. Mother -er. Oh, 
Although Tamiya kits typically have excellent fit right out of the box, it's still a good idea to tighten down the big parts with some painter's tape, just so you don't have any gaps left behind that you gotta deal with later. And for gaps that do form, it's a good idea to take something like Perfect Plastic Putty and fill them in and then smooth them out and sand them as needed. Assembly of the tusk panels are one of the most enjoyable parts of this build. They just go together so easily and they look so good. Hello again everyone. If you haven't already, please do me a favor and hit that subscribe button and the notification bell so you know exactly when I drop new content like part two of this awesome build. Let's get started on the turret. And to do that, we have to drill a couple more holes with our pin vise. The good thing about this kit is that all the holes that you do have to drill are clearly marked in the manual and also on the piece itself. So you are not gonna mess up unless you're some kind of mouth breather. The nice thing is the breech is poly capped so you can position the gun the way you want and it also fits together real nice and tight so there's no slop. Ah, bro. How many more fucking holes do I have to drill into this thing? Holy shit. Nice. Sausage Fingers does it again. Dumps fucking extra thin all over everything. It's awesome. Thank God it wasn't a full bottle. Not a huge problem. I just waited for it to dry and then sanded everything down and it looks good as new. Crisis averted. I would have really liked to see a one-piece barrel with this kit. However, it's not the end of the world. Just get your glue in there and then take some cheap clamps on both ends. Wait till everything dries and then hit it with some sandpaper and a hobby knife. And it'll look like a one-piece when you're done with it. Don't mind me while I switch up this music. Who doesn't like a little trap once in a while? Yeet! That is a good looking tank boner. Yeah. The main components of this build are now done. And now we can focus on some of the detail parts, which actually took much, much longer to put together than everything else that I'd done before this. Lots of little parts coming up. A lot of the sub-assemblies I'm about to build have glass components that I have to paint first, and I don't feel like masking everything, so I'm just going to use some PVA glue and kind of temporarily put things together. And when I'm done painting, I'll pull them apart and then put the glass in between. Also, if you all notice something different, I decided to switch my camera out mid-build. I got rid of the DSLR, and now I am using a Canon camcorder with autofocus. Much, much better. Guys, I really need your help here. Please, let me know how these videos look so far in the comments section below. I'm really new to this, and I need all the criticism I can get. Please, let me know what I can make better so you guys have a more enjoyable experience when you watch my videos.
So guys, I just need to be honest for a second. I really like showing the entire build process if I can. However, there's some parts that you just can't do because of how complex they are. Assemblies such as the bustle racks and the cupolas are extremely, extremely complex. They are riddled with small parts and it takes a lot of concentration to get right. It's not quite compatible with camera, though I left some of them out, and I'm sorry. However, I will show you as much as humanly possible, and there are quite a few complex parts that I do put together on camera. I hope you guys understand. It's not something I really like doing. Despite how easy other channels make it seem to film these videos, they're really not. I just need to be honest with you guys. You have to build the kit and concentrate on that, and then edit everything into a presentable package it takes hours and hours and hours of work so i hope you all can appreciate that i really don't want to jip you on content but this is just the way some things have to be done especially with larger more complex builds Alright everyone, for the last time, please, if you haven't already, hit that subscribe button and the notification bell so you know when I drop new content, especially part 2 of this M1A1 Abrams Sep Tus 2 kit by Tamiya. Excellent, excellent kit, let me tell you. can't beat the detail of kits like this just look at this sometimes more parts and more complexity just means better result in the end in video one we completed the assembly of this kit video two which will be coming very soon will be painting and weathering so don't miss it please hit that subscribe button share like give me a comment tell me what you thought and i'll see you guys next time